Hey y'all, so I'm here to talk to you guys about hair reviews and just being on YouTube. I always get this damn question. Adrian, how do you get free hair? I want free hair. How do you do that? How do you get reviews? Where do you go? You know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm just telling you the honest truth from me. Just from me. I don't know for other people. I don't know how to speak for other gurus. I hate calling myself a guru. But it's the easiest way to identify yourself on YouTube when people ask, what do you do on YouTube? Or what do you call yourself? I say a guru. Because if you try to sit and explain what you do on YouTube, when you say you do hair and makeup, they just keep asking. They're like, how? Then you got to keep going in. and like, how you got to meet subscribers? What do you get paid for? How do you get free stuff? So you just say you a guru and they be like, oh, okay. Like, they know what that is. They just be like, okay. And they just leave you alone. Well, the thing with hair reviews, I'm going to just tell you my journey, okay? Like I said, I started off YouTube. Um, for a project that's why my name is so plain Tommy's Adriana if you're not familiar with my other channel um this is not my only channel for people who just watch me like who's this girl um I have another channel Tommy's Adriana with his hair and makeup it's I think it's like 86,000 subscribers on there I don't know y'all I really don't take count of my subscriber count as you see I never tell y'all to subscribe to my channel I care more about people who watching it and actually learning something or you know I'm helping somebody out then my numbers I don't really care I know some people are really stuck on subscribe to me please subscribe to me I think that's really crazy like it doesn't matter if you can have fucking 50,000 billion quazillion subscribers but only 10 of y'all watching her you know what I'm saying so it don't really matter it matters who actually there and supporting you and watching your videos and giving you feedback that's what I look for I don't really look for who subscribe to my channel I started out doing a project for school looking at um I think it was the colorism war or something. I was in high school and I ran into a Tia, if y'all know who she is, and I was just fascinated. I'm like, who is this lady doing a perm on camera? Like, I was just like, y'all, most people like writing me talking about, oh my god, this is crazy, you're doing hair on camera. That's not trying to be funny, but it wasn't a lot of black people, <laughs> black women on YouTube doing hair when I started. In 2008, it was hardly none. It was probably a good, let's say, 100 people let's say and that's not a lot about a hundred black women on here doing hair and half of them were professional um advertising a dvd for a hundred dollars to learn how to do hair so it really wasn't just me sitting on the camera doing hair demographic in the community of black women doing hair has grown tremendously and i will say that's why it's so much drama <laughs> On YouTube now, let's just say that, cause back then it wasn't like this. It's now it's like more, which I'm happy. Like, let me add that too. Don't make it sound like I'm crazy, but honestly, I encourage a lot of people to make videos. When people write me for advice, I give them advice back. For if you have right, if wrote me, I've given you advice back, and I just tell you, girl, do it. You know, don't care. What nobody say. Most important thing is to be yourself. Don't ever get on camera trying to get subscribers. Don't get on camera trying to get some free hair. You can't do that. You gotta just genuinely want to be on camera and to help people and um like i said it's a lot of people go on go about youtube in the whole idea of being a guru the wrong way i'm talking about in you know in general some people go about it the wrong way they look at you at this light like you up here like people put me on this highest pedestal like a motherfucking michelle obama of hair and i'm not okay i just this is me every single day like all my friends know me i had the same way on camera i'm a little more ratchet i'm gonna say a little more in your face in person than i am on camera you know i gotta add it a certain way to people you don't know but whatever that's the joy of being on YouTube you can't always be completely yourself but most of me is me on camera that's why sometimes my videos get flat or pulled down because I'm a little too real for some people but just it's okay you know um but you just gotta be yourself and um don't go around begging people to subscribe that's the biggest thing to me like I hate when people not hate but I really think it's like weird for people to go on your video advertising their channel like okay hey, check me out everybody subscribe to my channel now that happens to me sometimes like, if you write me on my channel and like you be like hey I'm out a new channel can you check me out most likely I do most majority of the time I do if I don't check your videos out I subscribe anyway cuz I'm with supporting people and if you follow me on Facebook and Twitter I'm all about supporting people so with all this hate come you know where this hate comes from random people it's like I'm here to help you out like I don't have to do this this is what I do because I like helping people out in my real life I help young girls out anyway so it's something that I like doing and it's just really comical to me that people go on like blogs and <laughs> groups and 
Facebook and Twitter and just be so freaking judgmental and just rude. You know, it's really funny to me. And it's like I'm not here to, you know, hurt anybody. I'm here to help people learn how to do their hair so you ain't got to spend money. Same people who cussing you out every day and talk shit about you on other websites and stuff be the same people on here asking, Adrian, how to do an invisible part? Adrian, how to do a you part wig? Adrian, can you do my hair? Uh, negative. Uh, block, delete, goodbye, have a good day. So you just have to deal with a lot. But, um, the free review stuff, that just happened and it's just so funny because, like I said, I'm, I'm, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I know a lot more than some people would think. Um, I'll, I'll say I guess companies would think. I spoke to direct su suppliers before. I spoke to direct owners. I spoke to people who went to um, Russia. <laughs> hey girl, Russia themselves and looked at hair and went to South America and looked at hair. You know, I've talked to the the core of hair. I really have and because I look at the whole review thing with YouTube honestly not trying to brag because all of us who on YouTube who do hair reviews we make a lot of companies money believe it or not you know they were you know reimbursed us with free hair and stuff like that but sometimes the the real deal behind hair reviews isn't said and it's, it's you know I feel like you're not on a contract so why certain people don't say certain things you know like for me for instance if your hair ain't good I'm gonna tell you your hair is not good because I feel like I buy hair too you know what I'm saying I go out and if your company's good and I like how my hair review was I'm gonna purchase under my mom's name because you don't know who she is so I ain't like it's some biased stuff and if I ever get some bad hair under somebody else's name besides mine I'm gonna let the world know look I ordered under Letitia Thomas or I ordered under Shadrika Johnson and my hair did not come out like Thomas Adriana when I was a reviewer. You know, it's because I'm looking into hair, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'll, I won't say I've never, but I'm not interested in selling hair myself because I know the process behind it. And I feel like you have to be a very stable person and consistent and professional and a smart person to run a hair business. That's just my opinion. So if you run out of stock too quick or if you sell hair sometimes sometimes you don't if it takes four weeks to get your hair you're not a company to me you're not a business you just somebody who sell hair on the side putting a company title on your name and that's just how it is um because i like i spoke to a lot of professionals i do a lot of things on the side besides youtube i'm of course on youtube i'm goofy i'm funny ha 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 but i'm a very professional person i think a lot of people realize that about me now who has met me in person i'm a business person okay i'm in college i'm in criminology i mean i go to seminars i meet professional people so i know how that whole process is everything is a business so um with getting hair companies contact you when they know they can make a lot of money off of your videos which is fine like I said I get free hair let's be honest that's all cool and gravy but sometimes dealing with certain people like I have in the past I've done dealt with some rude ass um business owners and you know sometimes I was new to the reviewing back then but over time, once you get more not more familiar with the industry and stuff like that, you feel different textures. You can automatically look at a bundle and be like, this ain't real hair. You know, I'm sending it back. And that's typically what I, I tend to do now because I can look at some hair and literally say, this is not from the five main resources in India that people can get hair from this is not one of those resources and I'm telling you I know stuff like that stuff like that I don't tell the public or it's confidential like the whole process of who to go to where to get to how long the bundles how to um balance out the bundle cost and the supply cost all the other stuff that's just stuff you just i'm just a loser i'm a, like a hair nerd and i just research it and read stuff books and stuff about it i don't know so um <laughs> it's a lot to it so i admire people especially young people who got their shit going on and sell hair and they are good at it because it's very hard to do that and a lot of companies i feel like they get a lot of slack and a lot of disrespect from some some people because they don't understand the process behind it but at the same time you're a business you should already expect people not going that's not going to be happy with your product and should expect you know customers and just reviewers to just want the best because when you in this industry it's very competitive it's not something that you can just be like let me sell some hair out my car which is i'll do another video on that and that i will never ever do um, viewers, you really, they mainly look for people with a lot of subscribers, um, 
not um you know they know what they're talking about and really to do hair because i mean if you can do hair then they're like oh yeah they can do this with you next week you know they don't have to go pay nobody to do the hair it's not gonna take forever for my name to get out there so it kind of look for people mainly with a, a large fan base and um basically have trust in their subscribers honestly and that's why some people they can't deal with me i'll just be honest some people told me you know i'm afraid to really give you my hair because i know how you are and you're very truthful and i'm like what the fuck like so you mean to tell me you mean you want me to lie to people basically so those kind of people i stay away from um but um it's cool to get it, but at the same time, as you get more familiar with the business, um, you tend to find companies who try to use you and, you know, they think you don't know, know as much as you really do. And that's where you finally get called out and they just be like, oh, did you say that about my company? Can you take your video down or can you change the title of your video? Or straight up, um, you weren't supposed to say that you had a deal. You didn't have a deal because I didn't sign a contract. So that's how I go about reviews and my whole experience with it. But it's really fun. You know, you get hair, you get to try it out. So, I mean, it's fun to get the hair or whatever. Sometimes it's a little of a headache because you're not getting paid for this. I mean, people have offered me up to $300, $400 to wear a lace front. And I've said no because I don't wear lace fronts. I don't do this shit for no money. And I'm not about to wear no lace front for $400, a synthetic one at that. That's not going on my head. I don't care if you can pay my rent on my car note. I'm not putting a freaking synthetic lace front on my head. Um, one time I asked company, a company, hey, can I get some hair? They said no. You know, the same company now contacted me. Please do a review. So it's mainly a competitive thing. It's a marketing thing. You don't look for friendship with hair reviews and owners, in my opinion. I've met a lot of cool people. We're really close. Of a couple people I work with, and we talk like on Facebook and stuff like that. That's fine. But a lot of times you gotta be very professional at the same time because in because at the same time you you're your brand too like my Thomas Adriana is my brand so it's kind of like you gotta stay professional I'm telling you I'm very different from videos and emails <laughs> I'm telling you some people get surprised like is this Thomas is yes okay just it's just just me having fun but you know there's a time and place for everything so that's all i want to say about that because a lot of people been asking me like are you will you ever tell us the, the real deal with the hair reviews well that's the whole deal about it and just over around everything on youtube so if you have any questions more relating to that that's more pacific more pacific um let me know and i'll do it other than that i will holla at y'all later